Hello and welcome to another video on the LEGO Zarus channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a my block that lets your robot go straight only using the rotation sensors and the motors. This program is useful if you have all of your ports filled up with other sensors and don't have room for a gyro sensor. But if you do have ports open for a gyro sensor, definitely check out our gyro straight my block tutorials. The general idea from this program comes from YouTuber BuilderDude35, but I've made many modifications and improvements and made it into a my block. To get started, make a new program and drag out two motor rotation blocks. Set one to B and the other to C, and both to reset. Now drag out four variables. With the first three variables, make new ones called gain, speed, and distance. With the last one, set it to distance. Now take out a compare block and set the last distance variable to read numeric. Pull the distance value into the A port and change equal to to greater than or equal to. Then change B to zero. Now drag out a switch block. Set it to logic and pull in the result to the port. Now take out a loop block. Pull in two motor rotation sensor blocks. Set one to B and the other to C. Next, drag out a math block. Set it to subtract and take the B wire and put it into the B port and the C wire into the A port. Now take out another math block and set it to multiply. Oh, got the wrong block. Take the result and plug it into A. And now take out a variable, put it in between these two and set it to gain. And then on read numeric, pull the gain into B. Now we're going to drag out a move steering block, set it to on, and pull the result into the steering port. Now take out a variable called speed, set it to read numeric, and pull the data wire to the speed. Now pull out two, another two motor rotation blocks. Set one to B and the other to C, then drag out a math block and set it to advanced. This part might be familiar for those of you who have done the gyro straight and the gyro straight gain my blocks. All this does is, is taking the average of the B motor and the C motor and plugging that into the distance so we get a more accurate reading. Set it to make sure both are set to measure in degrees and plug them into A and B ports. Now change the equation to, in parentheses, A plus B divided by C. Then set C to two. Now we're gonna drag out a compare block and set it to greater than or equal to. Take the result and plug it into the A port. And now take a variable called distance, read numeric, and plug that into the B. Now set the loop to logic and plug the result in to the port. That's it for the top. Now click the loop so it's all highlighted in blue and press control C to copy. Now press control V and you'll get a second one. Pull that down into the bottom. Now we need to make a few changes. Switch around the ports on this so that the C goes into the B port and the B data wire goes into the A port. This is different from up here, as you can see. Now drag out two variables with a math block in between them. Set them both to speed and the first one to read numeric and the second one 
to write numeric. Pull the value from the first speed variable into the a value and the result into the second variable. Change the math block to multiply and the b value to negative 1. The only other thing you have to do is set the greater than or equal to down here on less than or equal to. After that, take a move steering block and put it at the very end of the program. Then set that to off. And that is the entire program. Now we just have to make it into a my block. To make it into a my block, zoom out until you can see the entire program. Then highlight everything except for the play block at the beginning. Go to Tools and then My Block Builder. Add three parameters and set the block icon to these two motors. So now go to the first parameter and go to Parameter Setup and call this one Game. Default value will be 1. Go to parameter icons and scroll down until you see these two um, icons. Click whichever one you want, it doesn't really matter. Now go to the second parameter and in parameter setup call that speed. Set it to a vertical slider, default value 50, or whatever speed you use the most in your program. The minimum should be negative 100 and the maximum 100. The parameter icon should be a speedometer. Now on the third parameter, go to parameter setup and call it distance. Default value should be 360 and the parameter style will be just be a text input. The parameter icon will be this. You click that. Now Type in the block name of um, rotation sensor straight. We can add spaces later. Now press finish and we're taken to this screen. Now pull the gain data wire into gain, speed into speed, and distance into distance. Now we are done. If you want to put in spaces, double click here and type in the spaces there. So if we go back to our program, we can see it's been converted into this block. We can use the block by typing in the speed and distance. And the gain function, what it does is change the severity of how much it corrects itself when it gets off. So if you have it at 1, it just does an average amount of correction. But if you make it bigger, it'll try to correct faster, and the smaller the number, it'll correct smoother. To make it go backwards, change the distance to a negative number, not the speed. Keep in mind though that this block can't do turns like the gyro straight eye block. All it can do is keep your robot going straight. So you'll still have to use the normal move steering if you want it to turn, or move tank. Also, the distance is done in degrees, not rotations, because with degrees you can get more accuracy. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.